Good morning everyone, I'm back. So, um, I thought I'd do something a little different. This is a color combination I've never done before. And I thought that it would be cool to do something different. I'm going to give you the color numbers, how I made it, in a little bit. First off, this is the updated, updated list. As you can see, you can put it on pause if you want to check if you're on there. No problem at all. You can check it. Okay, thank you all for sponsoring my channel. For the colors, first off, we have uh, Buff Titanium. That's the color 060. Um, what I did is I put it in both of these. Uh, this one, I added a little bit of titanium white. And in this one, I added a little bit of burnt sienna. So I have no white. It's all pretty much really eggshell color and a little bit of very, very, um, uh, and I'd say a medium, uh, medium beige. Yes. Okay. Then, oops, gotta get another. Then for the blue, um, this is a really beautiful blue. I really like this color. Um, Winsor and Newton has powder blue, but it's not really that interesting a color. It's pretty pale. And what I did is I added this blue. So I have powder blue and I have cerulean blue who, yeah, it's four, four, six and one, three, eight, those two. So a lot of this and a couple of drops of this blue. And I, of course I've added a little bit of titanium white. And that gives you this beautiful, beautiful color. As you can see here at the top, that's this color. Okay. Now, for this um, Salem color, this is a kind of neat color too. I, um, I put in the buff titanium and I put in cadmium orange hue. This is number 090. So... I put that in there, a drop of this, and a lot of Titan Buff. So all of these colors, except this one, this one is pure burnt sienna, and the color number is 074. All of them, except this one, is uh, mixed, so they're my own colors. And um, I want to get you guys mixing your own colors too, because it's so easy. You know, and it gives you something unique, something uh, no one else has, the colors that no one pours with, only you. And it's pretty gratifying. So I'm just going to put them away. There we go. And I'm going to be pouring on a 20 by 20. I've already put the push pins in place. I put the little pegs in the corners. Uh, I didn't hammer them in really tight because um, if you send your canvases overseas and uh, it goes in an airplane, what you want is you want you have you do want to put them in place, but you don't want to tap them in too hard because with the um, in the plane you'll have this uh, compression and decompression, and I've been told that it can warp a canvas so. What you do is put them in slightly. When the new owner gets the painting, they can tap them in just a little bit tighter if it's if needed. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with, well, the thing is um, all of these colors are opaque because I've mixed everything in there with um, titanium white. The only color that is something else, that is the burnt sienna, and there it is. That's where it shows, you know, that it's not opaque. So, uh, 
that's the only color that is half transparent so we're gonna pop uh, the colors in the uh, in the flip cup because I am gonna do a flip cup a little bit of that white a little bit of that nice beige color then the beautiful salmon salmon whatever you call it and of course the blue whoopsie doody and I want some contrast then coming back in with the salmon and the blue And this will keep if we maybe need to do some ribbons or whatever. But I think I have enough to cover the canvas. And it's going to be a nice and light canvas. So there we go. Just letting it settle a little bit. That is kind of nice. Only too bad that the nice dark contrast color that we didn't get that. I'm going to um, torch it straight away because I'm going to stretch the cells. Oh, there's some popping up. Now, what I mixed with is um, only pouring medium from Vallejo and gloss medium. And in every cup, there is two drops of silicone. And that's probably why you're not seeing a lot of cells. Because I just wanted to, um, to tone down a bit on all the cells. over the side and now looking at the uh, at the blue that's popping up the blue could have been a little bit more intense that wouldn't have um, hurt it at all there it goes over the side let me fix the corner here Ooh, that's pretty isn't it nice big cells we go it's nicely covered take off the bottom here there it is and uh, as you can see uh, the blue it does pop up, but not as much as I would expect it to. So maybe next time I'll just deepen the color just a little bit because it's, uh, I think it'll be better. But I do, certainly do like all the, um, the, that salmon color. And I'm getting some more uh, cell action, some small ones here. That's kind of cool. So we'll keep the big ones and then just some small ones will be popping up. And of course I'm doing the sides because I like having the cells popping over the sides. Yeah, the, uh, the last torch really added to the piece where this came up here in the corner some cells popped up and this bit here popped up that gives it just a little bit more uh, of a uh, I don't know a sort of a composition that is a little bit more appealing so I really like this pour uh, the colors are pretty uh, we got really huge cells we got the little cells 
We got some contrast going on here with the dark. Here, some dark popping up. Might even work still a little bit because that can happen. But um, why I'm trying to do these colors is because I want to incorporate some sort of a gold into these uh, paintings. And I'll show you what I've done with another one. Now, as the most people that have bought stuff in my shop know, I have a, um, I have these gold flakes. So when you put some, this is just a test, uh, you know, this was an old canvas I was going to throw away, but I wanted to test it. Now, if you have a pour that's not that appealing, you know, and we all have them, you know, you think, okay, it's nice, but you know, it's just not grabbing me. Now, if you put some, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. I put some uh, special gilding glue on here and you let it dry for 10 to 15 minutes. Then you come in with those flakes. You just throw all those flakes on top and press it down with a dry brush. Then when, when the, um, the glue is dried, you can just brush off the excess. And what I did is I put it along the, uh, as you can see, the corners and down here, every corner. Then I put some up here and I let it come back a little bit down here. And all of a sudden, you know, then it sort of pops. It gives it a little special something. And for a pour that was first not that totally interesting, it comes back and it gives it just a little bit more kazam. And uh, I sort of like that. Now, as you can see, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but the um the outlines of these bigger cells they have become more dark because the uh the burnt uh, sienna is popping up and down here also you can see a little bit of dark i love that i love the uh, cells that um that formed up here and down here the only thing is i can't click off my uh ipad because the uh audio will leave but i will um Put it up a little bit let's see if i can do that if i'm very careful there we go let me get you in focus and up here some very pretty little cells popping up that's kind of nice and of course i've got a lot on the table which i really want to do something with but uh, for me this is um this is uh this is it. I'm very satisfied with the pour. Let me see if I can get you guys in focus. Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna put this one aside for a bit. Get a little plastic paper. And put it aside really be careful so that was that now I have a little bit of yupo over here but I'm not going to do much I just want to see if I can put in a little bit more of that nice dark rusty color and a little bit more of that blue because I really thought that went well together. And I'm going to pick it up with a tiny little pellet knife. There we go. Letting it swirl down. I know a lot of people like uh, like like to watch the paint drip. <laughs> it's really soothing, isn't it? It's sort of uh, relaxing to see paint just you know slowly, slowly move. It is nice. Let me see if I can get some more down here. Ooh, that's really looking good.
Now I do want a little bit more of that blue in there. Ooh, it's running off, that's good. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's good. And I want some down here. And let's see what happens when we torch it. Very slowly. There's not much uh, selection. You are a little bit, as you can see. I'm sort of thinking that it may, might be too cold in here because it takes a long time for it to uh, warm the paint enough that it releases that silicone. Oh, but it's pretty. I can live with that. Especially this bit here. That will make a really beautiful pendant. So we're going to keep this one. And then I just want to do one more. I have two of the small ones left. And this time I'm just going to drop it on here. Uh, let me see. Oh, here's a lot of colors left in here. Let's see. That is kind of nice. But we won't do that, so I'm going to put it on here. A lot of blue. And a lot of that salmon. Salmon. And then this one, the little gray one, of the beige one. And a lot of this one. And of course, a little bit of contrasting color. There we go. And we'll put that on top. Give it a little push, opening it up. That is pretty. Let's see what the torch does. Interesting. is interesting so we'll keep this one and this one will I'm gonna torch it with my new torch this one has a little bit more heat heat in it Let's see, oh, it is on highest, it is. That's a, there's nothing more I can do with it. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's cool. I thought I could, uh, make it a little bit more fierce but i guess not there's nothing you can do with this one see it's only low or high but you can't make the gas come out faster so that's uh <clears throat> that's okay then i like the, these better see you can it forces the air out or the gas out a little bit faster 
but that's okay we can keep this one so here it is let me get you in close kind of pretty there we are so that's it for today not for today this is it for this pour um, I think I might be going to uh, prep a really big canvas for tomorrow so uh, what I'm going to do is a, um, uh, I think a 120, 120 centimeters by 40. I'm going to see if I can uh, put some plastic on the floor here and then um, set up an another camera. And uh, yeah, I really feel like doing something big. Not in these colors, but I think I'll go back to the uh, ocean colors for that one. So we'll see. But for now, uh, until I clean this up and come back, uh, I'd like to uh, say to everyone, love you all to pieces, leave euch alle, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.